This is a multi-part video series consisting of picture-in-picture -picture footage of Arma 3 gameplay from both the Game Master's perspective and the participants of the mission. As always, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the series as much as we enjoyed making it. What's up guys, it's Funar from MultiplayerGamers.com. This is another Arma 3 Zeus mission. We've uh, been a little while since we've done this. We're trying to do it more often, but uh, timing and so forth has made it kind of difficult for us to do that. And uh, if you're interested in joining us on these things, make these missions a little bit more interesting, get a few people in here, um, take a visit to us at MultiplayerGamers.com. We'd, uh, we'd love to have you there. So. In this case, today, we're going to have uh, Conan58 and Blue Eagle joining us again for a Spec Ops mission. And uh, base of operations today is on the island of Altus. And they're actually going to be starting at the airport for once, and they're going to be surprised to find out that the airport is going to be filled with various objects. Planes, cars, whatever else. It's going to be kind of unusual for them, because they don't usually have a lot of stuff. Well... <clears throat> the flip side to that is the airport is going to come under a massive assault and it's going to be um, their job to remove um, certain objects from the airport and basically escape the airport. So that's, that is kind of the premise for the mission. They're going to run into trouble along the way. Um, basically, they're going to be... Uh, yeah, just running for their lives pretty much the entire way. So <clears throat> we're going to take a Hemet container, which one of them will drive, and make sure the cargo is empty because they're going to fill it. Fuel is full. Object is unlocked. <clears throat> so that's one of the vehicles they're going to use. And then the other one is going to be a unarmed MATV. And we'll do the same thing. Clear cargo. Let's see, why didn't I... I did that wrong on this one, didn't I? Let's fix that. Clear cargo. <clears throat> now I don't, I don't know if this actually works. Um, I think with the mods that we have, we're gonna go ahead and set uh, that to be a respawn point. But I don't think it's gonna work for the way we want to do it. Um, the other thing is, I don't want these vehicles to be destructible by traditional armaments, so we're going to change it, if I can find the option in here, destroy all my satchels. And these are just quick uh, shortcuts for doing this kind of stuff, is really what it is. <coughs> okay, so those are the two vehicles that they're ultimately going to be escaping in. So now we need to create some ambient life and by ambient life what we're going to do is we're going to go and pre-place some air guys and these guys are actually going to get blown up fairly quickly and we're going to lock it we're going to give them a tiny bit of fuel And let's see, that way they can't get in, which is what we want. So that should do it for that one. And we're going to pre-place, I think, two of those. Move them over here, move him over here. My guy's getting in line here. And again, locked. It's not player usable. Okay, on the runway, 
let's see which direction I want to put these guys. Put them down here. On the runway, we're going to put a couple jets. <coughs> Again, these eyes are, are not going to make it. Um, where are you going, dude? <laughs> He's going to take off. Okay, I'm not going to place him. <laughs> Darn you, AI. Uh, let's see here. We will place a couple Chinooks. Again, same thing. <clears throat> All about ambience. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have a bit of a sinus thing going on, so I apologize for uh, clearing my throat so much, but... Uh, it is that time of year, I guess, for all kinds of allergies and stuff, which is int interesting because I don't usually have allergies. And this year has been just horrible. I don't know what the deal is. And again, these are just <clears throat> for the visual. They're inevitably going to get destroyed just for the feel of the mission. Which should make it interesting for them. more vehicles. So this is going to be one of the vehicles they need to get stuff out of. So I'm going to put this one here. damage it pretty severely. <clears throat> and we're going to add some cargo to it because I want them to actually remove move the items from one to the other. Let's see. Um, Don't necessarily want them using any of this stuff, so let's see what we can put in here. I think we'll stick with items. You know, maybe I'll put a bunch of medical supplies in it. Bandage. Oh. Epi. Put a bunch of epi in here. Put a bunch of morphine in here too. <clears throat> what else could we put in here that we could make them move? Not a scope. Spare barrel. No, no record launcher.
Who knew there were so many rocks? Good grief. You know, maybe that's going to be it. Every uniform you can possibly imagine. sure this is only destructible by oops make sure this is only destructible by satchels as well did that get added I didn't see it get added clear cargo yeah there it is okay it's there and So those two are set, that's set. Got some choppers that are going to take off. I'll have to place some place some random vehicles. Not quad bikes. <laughs> Copy and paste in the uh, Zeus is a little finicky sometimes. Again, these are just for ambience. Put a couple hatchbacks. should we put how about a truck <clears throat> and then highlight them all double click lock them there those are all locked Let's see here. We will put a couple of other random vehicles around here. Let's see, I want support vehicle. We'll do a medical truck over here, just because. Lock it. Throw down a couple of other helicopters on the pad here. Of course, locking them. Okay, so we got <coughs> so we got that. All right, let's place some map markers because we want to direct them in this case. Look, it's Funer. There we go. Hmm. 
I want to give him a rough idea of how to get out of the airport. just kind of guide them out and then from where they go here sort of be up to them I'm just gonna place an, an extraction point um, they're ultimately gonna try to get to where is that Where do I want them to go? I had this planned out and planted in my head anyway. Okay, we want them over here to the dock. <coughs> So presumably, they will take the main road. And extract. And they will go through a number of towns where they will uh, run into some trouble. So let's set up an objective. You know, you know I'm not going to set those up. Um, we've had issues with those before, so we'll skip the objective. I will set a marker, though, because... Did I just... Where to go? No. Nope. I'm going to set up some troops in here, too, um, um, through MCC. I'll set up some friendly forces just kind of roving around. Nope, I need to put a jet right there. Um, just so that they have some guys around them as well. Now in the past, um, anytime I've given them support, they've, they've tended to, they've tend to hang back and let the support take out the bad guys. Um, it's not what I wanted, but hey, why not? Um, this time I'm not going to let them do that. They're going to have to, uh, They're going to have to run and fight. And not because the AI is the AI that I'm placing is going to bite it. So Oops. I'm putting these here now <coughs> because they are going to end up getting manned by guys. I'll drop some pilots down and, and make those uh, those guys take off. throw a couple more support vehicles down and then I think we'll be good to go. Maybe a re 
repair view. No, I don't want re well, not repair because they might they might actually use that. <laughs> we'll put a medical vehicle down. All right. Well, I think we're good to get the ball rolling here. Pop out of Zeus real quick. Go into MCC. And I am going to create um, some initial zones here. Some CSAT zones. Oh, don't send me back there. So that's where I am. I will not be participating in this mission. I'm just kind of hanging on the island over here. So I'm going to create a zone here. See, I'm going to force them down this road. So let's create a zone here. Move it up just a little bit. Cross the road. <coughs> and we're going to spawn... Uh, let's see, guard inventory, maybe eight units. Set them to fortify the area. And spawn one. Do four of them. What it just did there is I'm caching the groups, which makes it so that, you see how they disappeared? Um, that actually makes it so they won't actually spawn until they get close. Okay, so now... <coughs> we want to divert them down that road. And to do that, we'll create a couple wrecks. What kind of wreck do I want? A truck? No, I want something large. Hunter, hatchback, fuel, fuel truck. That would do it. And we're going to make this baby smoke. And then we're also going to create a roadblock. If I can remember where it is. Question is, did they remove them from the list? Because I'm not seeing what I'm looking for here. Village, town, military? No, see these are... I'm not seeing what I'm looking for here. The pre-built roadblocks. Here it is. Is this it? No. Those are individual items. Huh. I have a feeling 
Am I in the wrong place, maybe? No? There it is. I was in the wrong place. Let's see, and just, I hate that it spawns me over there. Just so that they know. I think that'll work. Oop, why are you red? I want you black. Okay, I think that'll do it for now. Um, I'm probably going to have some helicopters chasing them too. Some unarmed ones. Which I can spawn pretty much at any time. Let's see. What if we spawn over here? Okay, that's the mined road. You're not supposed to enter that. You're supposed to go down this road. I might create another mini zone right here. Okay, so presumably they will go down here. They'll eventually get back up on the main road. While they're fighting, I will set up the other zones over here and in here. And I think that's going to do it for setup, guys. Um, that at least gets us the, uh, the beginning part of the mission. So uh, join us on the next episode, and we will be doing uh, the actual mission. So uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoy the remaining parts of this episode. Thanks for joining. If you like this video, click on that like button. It really helps us grow the channel. For more videos like this and more from the MultiplayerGamers.com community, click on subscribe. We upload new videos regularly. We also invite you to our gaming community at MultiplayerGamers.com. We'd love to have you join us. For Blue Eagle and Conan58, this is Funar. Thanks for joining us.